This week in IT, Intel promises to bring an Apple-like continuity experience for iPhones to Windows PCs, and one that's faster and more reliable than Microsoft's PhoneLink application and the now discontinued Dell Mobile Connect. It's going to work with not only Android but also iOS, and it will eventually be open to all OEMs and operating systems. Hello, Russell here, Editorial Director of Petri.com in This Life and IT consultant in a previous one. So one of the advantages of owning all Apple devices is that there's a feature called continuity that helps to connect them together. Now this allows you to do things like transfer files with a feature called AirDrop. There's also a functionality called HandOff that allows you to, for instance, start writing an email on your iPhone and then continue with it on your MacBook. And you can do other things like receive calls, text messages, and there are several other features that come under this continuity umbrella. But most importantly, it all works quickly and easily, completely seamless to the end user. Now, Windows has an application built in called PhoneLink, but the biggest problem with it is that it only works with Android phones and it can be slow and unreliable at times. So what's the problem with all of this? Well, because the iPhone is so popular, and if you already have an iPhone and want to buy a notebook, then if you don't buy a MacBook, then you're going to be slightly disadvantaged because you don't have access to all of these continuity features that Apple provides. So of course, iPhone users often pick a MacBook to get all of that seamless connectivity that just works. The Microsoft's PhoneLink application doesn't work with iOS at all, but worse than that, some of the advanced features are only available to those that have flagship Samsung handsets. And Dell's Mobile Connect only ever worked on certain XPS notebooks, and it's now been discontinued. There's also Google's FastPair for Windows, which it announced earlier this year, and it will allow you to receive calls on your PC, send SMS messages and transfer files, but it's also going to be limited to certain PCs from certain OEMs. But that could all change with Intel Unison. In 2021, Intel bought an Israeli startup called Screenovate. Now, Screenovate was actually the technology that Dell used for its Mobile Connect application. So that's the reason Mobile Connect has now been discontinued because Dell don't own that technology anymore. And in the last year, Intel has taken Screenovate software and they've been optimizing it to improve the end user experience. So just as you might expect, what can you do with Unison? So you can receive phone calls, you can send and receive SMS messages, you can transfer files between your devices, receive notifications, and it will allow you to, for instance, drag a photograph from your phone directly into a document on your PC. And at Intel's recent Innovation Day, when they announced their 13th generation processors for desktop, Top, they also did a little demonstration of Unison and they showed an Intel Evo notebook connecting to a tablet and using that tablet as a second screen. So they showed how easy and quick it was to do with Unison. So Intel is initially going to make Unison available on select 12th generation Evo certified notebooks this holiday season. So you'll be able to get your hands on this technology quite soon. But there's really good news because Intel is planning to make this more broadly available next year on upcoming devices that will have the 13th generation mobile CPUs. And in the future, Intel hopes to make it available to all OEMs and even to consumers who have older devices, you'll be able to download it and providing it meets the necessary hardware requirements, you'll be able to install and run Unison. Intel wants to make Unison as open as possible, not like previous efforts from Microsoft and from Dell that really limit the devices you can use these features with. And at the moment, they're saying they're not even averse to cooperating with AMD and Qualcomm to get this technology available on a wider range of devices. So how does this all work? So it uses Bluetooth to pair devices together and then Wi-Fi Direct to transfer data. Now, in terms of transferring data, I do think there's a couple of exceptions to using Wi-Fi Direct. So as I understood, there are certain features like transferring files between a phone and, for instance, your PC that will actually involve a server in the cloud, but at no time will your files actually be stored in the cloud itself. So whichever route your information takes from getting from mobile device to PC, it will happen quickly and seamlessly. And Intel has been working with Microsoft to bring this software to Windows. So it is all software based, so you need to install the application on your PC and on your mobile device. 
but it all uses standard APIs. So for instance, on the iOS side, there's no special access required to the operating system. And because of course, Intel has direct access to the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hardware, they're able to optimize the drivers for the PC application in ways that Dell and Screenovate have never been able to do before to really give the users an optimized seamless experience that compares to Apple continuity. So when this is launched for this year's holiday season, there is going to be limited functionality and availability. But of course, this is just the start with Unison. You'll need a new Intel PC. And of course, those advanced features will be coming at some point in the future. And unlike continuity, you will need to install an app on the PC and on the mobile device. Another thing that's worth noting is that this also will support multiple mobile devices. So it's not just that you can have one device paired to your PC, you can have several devices paired all at the same time. So where does all this sit in the greater scheme of things? Well, I have an iPhone right now, but in the past I did have an Android device and I have used Phone Link, and it's kind of okay, but it's a bit glitchy, it's a bit slow, it takes time for things to update, and it's definitely not an ideal experience. And it seems like you know, Dell and Mobile Connect in the past and Google's FastPair are all really limited in terms of what devices it's going to work with, which is not a great thing for the consumer. And while today you can transfer files, of course, from an iPhone to a PC, either using the cable, it's not simple because it's really hard to find the files and you don't really see them in any kind of order that allows you to browse them easily. Or of course, you could send yourself an email. There are other applications like WhatsApp that of course have an application specifically for the PC. So basically, you can do the same stuff that you can do on your phone on your notebook. It's not ideal and it doesn't work in the same fast and seamless way as Apple solution. Now we haven't really seen Unison in action. There's just been a couple of demos and a lot of private demos to various journalists. Now Dave Altavilla from Forbes has seen a demo and he says that it's fully functional, fast and fluid with seamlessly instantaneous updates on the desktop as the phone is being used. And as notifications, text and other activities were happening on the phone. So my biggest question with all of this is, can it really work like continuity? Because as I understand, Intel doesn't necessarily have access to notifications and the deep access that Apple has on the iPhone. So how Intel is gonna pull this off where nobody else has succeeded in the past, I'm not quite sure. So until I see this with my own eyes, actually working with an iPhone as well as it probably will do with Android, I'm gonna take all of this with a bit of a pinch of salt. But of course, I'm really hoping for the best. Intel's open approach to this has to be a good thing for everybody. I think I'm really tired and everybody is really tired of having all of these phone integration features just limited to particular handsets. So this is just the beginning for Unison. What I'd really like to see is the proliferation of notifications be brought under control. So I've never used continuity, but as far as I understand, if you have your iPhone close to your notebook, then for instance, you don't see the notifications on your notebook and on your mobile device as well. And at the moment, if you're using iPhone and a PC, you've got notifications everywhere. You've got them in Windows, you've got them in iPhone. So for instance, if I complete a task on my PC, what I'd really like to see is that notification then deleted on Windows and the notification also deleted on my iPhone so I don't have to go back through later and clear notifications for tasks or emails that I've replied to. Some real intelligence brought to all of this. Now I'm not sure that Intel is promising that with Unison but that's where I'd really like to see all of this heading. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you have an iPhone would this sway you to buy a Windows PC if if this really worked as well as Apple continuity. If you found this video useful then please give it a like that would really help me out and if you'd like to see more like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But I'm going to leave you with another video today my top five features in iOS 16 so check that out but that's it from me and I'll see you next time.